So we have family. And then you have snake, third party. So there's a family member that could be, um, that could have caused some type of deception. This could be someone that's a hidden enemy. This person did something out of spite, out of envy, out of jealousy. And this was like to interfere with you and someone else. This could be a business um, partnership. This could be a friendship. Or this could be like a potential relationship. But this person caused some type of deception because they felt like they could. And whatever they did, they felt like it was easy for them to get away with it. You wouldn't question what they did. Um, it's like this family member is in competition. They're in competition with you and another person. This is the only way, the only reason they're trying to interfere with whatever you and this other person um, is doing together. Or if this is like a potential connection, like a relationship or partnership business wise, um, they envy it. This is someone who sees the potential of something, of a connection, whether it's an actual relationship, a friendship, or um, working with another person, building with another person, prospering with another person. They envy it because they feel like whatever you're doing with this person, they won't be able to do with you. So they could have did something to make sure they could keep you and that person away from each other, um, distant. And it's because they just don't want to see they don't want to see you do something better than them or this person. And if the other person is doing something better than them, um, and you're not attached to this person that they don't want you to partner up with or work with, they feel like as long as you're not attached to that person, building with that person or doing anything with that person, they're satisfied. They were able to have control over this connection or this partnership. This could this could be a situation where there's something that you could have been doing with this family member. This could have been a business or something like that. Um and it's not getting anywhere. But they feel like if you go towards another person or if you do something with another person, whether it's a friend or someone you're actually in a relationship with, you're going to get somewhere. You're going to prosper. They don't want that. It's like they don't approve or agree with you partnering up with this person or working with this person. And it's out of envy, out of jealousy. They feel like they can't compete with that person. And they feel like the best way that they could compete with this person is by keeping you away from that person. When all reality, they're secretly in competition with you and whoever this person is. It's almost like the saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. This is a hidden enemy. This is why they're trying to stay so close to you. If this isn't you, this could be someone who wanted to partner up or work with you and they have a family member that they're close to that is a hidden enemy. This person is very envious and jealous. It's like they don't want to see that person prosper. 
they know that person cannot prosper with them, but they, they don't want that person to prosper on their own or with other people. So they cause some type of deception, but they made it seem as if they cared about this person. They had this person's best interest. They didn't want that person to get hurt or um, something like that. This is someone that totally disagreed with somebody partnering up with you or you partnering up with someone else. They seen the potential and they hated it. Somebody could do music. This could be someone that you were partnering up to do music with. You could be someone that's very talented. You could be someone that sings. Um, you could be someone that's very gifted. You could be an artist. You could be a poet. There's something about you that's unique and it stands out. They don't like it. We have text message. This is someone who could have read some type of text message or um, this person is like in fear. You have communication, fear, heartache. This person is like in fear of someone coming toward you or you going towards another person taking a leap of faith. It's like somebody feels like there's unfinished business, whether it's you or another person. Um, they feel like something is not finished. Something is not over. And they, it's like they're, they're on edge. They're uneasy. Because they know that someone is getting ready to like take a leap of faith. This person could be moving on from them or you could be moving on from this family member if this is you. Because it's like you've picked up on the betrayal or the person that is wanting to um, come toward you, communicate with you. They've picked up on the betrayal and they're hurt. They're disappointed in this family member. This could have hurt them for a long time because it's like they took advice from that person thinking that that person had their best interests just to find out this was a hidden enemy. This is someone who is jealous and envious of them and whoever you are. And it's like if they were able to keep this person away from you, they celebrate it. This is someone who is happy. This could be someone who likes to go out. They like to party. This could be someone who likes to drink as well. Like somebody could be a drinker. This could be someone that you could have drunk with or went out with or um, spun a lot of time around. Or this is someone that they're always going out with, drinking with, partying with, celebrating with. And they felt like if that person came toward you, all of that would end. Now, if this was an actual relationship, like somebody wanting to date you, be in a connection with you, they wanted that person to think that you were too much baggage, like you had too much baggage, um, something wasn't over in your past, this could have been in another connection. Um, they wanted them to think that you were in a pattern or you would break their heart. Heartbreak and fear is here. You're going to disappoint this person because unfinished business is here. There's something or someone in your past they wanted them to feel like would always connect with you or you would always um, hurt them for that person. Now, with Roll the Dice being here, this is definitely someone that you could have moved on from. When you were in communication with 
whoever this person is that has this um family member that's this snake you had moved on from whatever this unfinished business is They wanted them to believe that coming toward you would be a risk of them getting their heart broken. And if this person have had their heart broken before, um, it feared them. It made them afraid to come toward you. It made them feel like you're always going to go back, back towards an ex or something like that. We have poverty. This is definitely someone that you've left behind or they could have left you out in the cold. Like they could have ghosted you, distanced their self from you with no explanation. They jumped to conclusions because of some type of bad advice from a jealous family member. We have sudden wealth. So I'm getting once this person ghosted you, you could have... Um, gain some type of inheritance this could have been a settlement or some type of unexpected payout that you've received with sudden wealth being here but there's something success is here there's something that you've accomplished if you took the step to move on from some type of baggage a cycle um, a pattern that you were in with another person you're being rewarded it's like you had to leave that person out in the cold in order to be able to present, be presented this new opportunity, which is sudden wealth. This could be a new job, um, a new business. This could definitely be, as I say, some type of unexpected money that you didn't expect to receive. But this is for your hard work. Something has paid off for you taking the chance to take a leap of faith towards a whole nother direction and um, have a fresh start. It's like you completely started over. Yeah. And it's like whoever this family member is, they could be in despair. The person that ghosted you, they could be in despair. They could be ashamed, embarrassed, they're heartbroken because they feel like you weren't the person that broke their heart. This family member did. And they are disappointed in their self because they allowed that family member to deceive them. This is someone who needed to clear out their energy because now they feel all alone they feel like they don't have anyone this is someone who feels like they shouldn't have been um oh this could also mean that they feel like they should have kept something to themselves so if they went to this person and told this person like hey this is what i'm going to do i'm getting ready to take this leap of faith and go towards this person they're wishing they wouldn't have did this. They're wishing they would have kept this to their self because the pain that they're dealing with from the outcome, they feel all alone. They feel like nobody understands what they're going through. This family member is not someone that's going to um, comfort them or encourage them or uplift them. It's like they want that person. They feel like they got what they wanted. And that was to just keep that person away from you. They wanted to sabotage a potential connection between you and this person. So they feel like you're someone that is very mysterious. They don't know what to expect out of you. This could be this family member and this person, or this could be this family member. If they thought they had you figured out, they just misjudged you. Um, this could be somebody that don't know you as well. Like they could have just jumped to conclusions, talked about you in a negative way, 
and it was because they're jealous but jealous of you and they don't know you this person is envious and jealous of um your strength your courage this is someone who got upset because you ended out a cycle Maybe it was because this person was um, not expecting for you to walk away from some type of pattern, some type of baggage. They were expecting you to go back and forth with someone. And that didn't happen. So it's like you proved someone wrong without even knowing this person was looking into your life or focused on what you have going on. You are on my mind when I fall asleep and when I awake. So this is someone who thinks about you heavy. I can feel every tear you cry. So if you've cried about um, something that took place between you and this person in the past, they felt it. This person was hurting as well. This is someone who feels like your their heart belongs to you. Yeah, this is like a potential connection. Now, somebody went through a lot of childhood trauma. Somebody was abused as a child. Um, this could have been physical abuse, verbal abuse. But somebody was abused, neglected. It's like they went through a lot. And it traumatized them. Now... There could be like another person um, that was working with this family member. Or they're just finding out that this family member is a karmic soulmate. This family member is someone who wants to be you. So whatever it is that you're doing, this is like a copycat energy. Yeah. If this isn't this family member, there could be another person. Like there could be someone that they were in a connection with. Maybe they were in some type of pattern with someone as well. And a family member told them to go back towards that person and they listened to that person. They went back towards this person because they felt like you were going to go back towards whoever you were attached to. And it's like you took the chance to see it as an opportunity to move forward. And that's what you did. But this person allowed a karmic soulmate, which was a family member, to place fear over them. They allowed them to be scared to take that leap of faith and get out of some type of pattern that they were in with a karmic soulmate. They feel like whatever you have done, it has completely took their breath away. It was unexpected. Um, they're in disbelief. They're shocked. They cannot believe the outcome. They cannot believe that you took this leap of faith. And they're disappointed in their self because they allow this family member to disencourage them. And I'm getting this family member was jealous because whatever leap of faith this person was taking, this family member wasn't. And it's like everybody is not on the same journey. We don't share the same path. Um... And when you're jealous and envious of what someone else is doing on their journey or how far they've come, how ahead they are of you, that only stops your growth spiritually, mentally, and physically. Because you're not focused on self in your journey. You're focused on someone else. So it constantly puts blockages up 
So you're not able to move forward and focus on what you need to focus on. Somebody is eating their words. This is someone who had a bad taste in their mouth for you because they just do, they don't like you. It's like this is someone who did not like you before you moved on from whatever pattern this was. It's like it didn't just start when this person decided to say, hey, I want to take a leap of faith, take a chance to go towards that person. And even if they did not tell this family member, some type of communication happened between you and them. You could have reached out to this person. And this family member found out in the envy the jealousy that they already had for you is what made them want to sabotage this person connecting with you, communicating with you, and coming toward you. It got to the point where this person could have started lying to this family member about you. Like they could have been so invested in this person communicating with you, coming toward you. It's like they needed to stay in um, the knowing of what was going on with the connection to the point where this person started lying to them. If they lied to this family member about you, they're in despair. They're wishing they wouldn't have lied about you. This could have been on you. They could have talked negative about you to please this um jealous family member yeah this card says i lied to my family about our connection i have a huge ego so this is someone who has a huge ego they're very egotistic and it's like they don't want people to see them vulnerable they don't want people to pick up on their energy if this is someone who has emotions for you, they hit them um, because they just did not want people to have anything to say about how they feel about you. Even if it hurt them hiding how they felt. It's like this is someone who is accustomed to allowing their ego to control their life. This is someone who has to um, learn how to temper their ego, balance their ego out. This is someone who also needed to or need to heal from some type of trauma, some type of pain that they have not gotten over from when they were a child. And I'm getting this family member is someone who they're in that same energy, like very egotistic, narcissistic. They have to be in control, especially if they don't have control over their life. They have to have control over other people's lives. I still remember the first day I met you. This is someone who... Did not know they were keeping their self trapped in a karmic lesson. By allowing fear, their ego, to control their life, their path. It has kept them trapped in a karmic lesson. This card says, I'm trapped in a karmic lesson. Sorry. Whatever they're trapped in, this is something that they have to learn so they can move past and not repeat the same pattern or cycle with this family member or multiple people that could be in this cycle that's keeping that person in the energy of being afraid to take the leap of faith, to move forward in life, 
to step outside of the box and do something different than what they've been doing this entire time. It's like this person is afraid of change because they're surrounded by um, people that don't want them to change and they don't want to change. These are people that fear change. I'm going to pull one more card from this deck. I'm tired of running from our connection. So this is someone that, um, this have been a pattern. This could have happened in a past life or this could be multiple lifetimes. This person have run from a connection that you and them share. This could be a soulmate connection, twin flame connection. But this is definitely someone that you have a spiritual connection with. Then we have twin flame on the bottom of the deck. So this could be your twin. They've been running from this connection. But I'm getting this is something that needed to happen. This family member was supposed to disencourage them. Um, make them afraid of taking this leap of faith because this is something that they don't have to uh, it's something that they cannot go outside of their self to get answers for them taking a leap of faith it has to be their decision they have to want to change this is someone who have to want to take a chance on um moving forward with their life. This could be breaking a generational curse off of them. A lot of things that their ancestors could have went through. Um, it's like they're repeating that same cycle. Something has went on for generations and this person is... Um, Not realizing this is something, this is why they're in fear or they're so afraid and uneasy to um, move on from things that is not helping them change. It's preventing them from changing and it's kind of keeping them like in a comfort energy of settling for things. That's like keeping, settling for baggage, patterns, things that are going to keep them like on a merry-go-round or running in circles. We have infatuation. So this is someone who is infatuated with you, but they're in, they, this person is in denial. It's like they hid how they truly felt. And they felt like being cold and detached, you wouldn't be able to pick up on the attraction. Obsession is here as well. They're secretly in love with you. We have determined. This person is still holding on to something. This could be something that um, you gave them. This could be a... This could be text messages. This could be photos or something like that. But they're holding on to something. I'm also getting that if they were in a connection with someone else, that person is like determined to keep this person stuck, to keep this person distracted, to keep this person waiting or to keep you waiting. Um, they could know that this person is hiding how they feel about you. They're secretly in love with you, but um, they don't care. It's like they feel like the more and more they hold on to this person, it's going to affect you. 
if they're still attached to like a, a karmic soulmate, somebody that they were in a connection with, going back and forth with this person, there was some type of cycle, they're not happy. This person is disappointed. They're hurting. It's like they're all over the place. Yeah, it's like they were so afraid of you going back towards um, an ex. Uh, this was definitely like a karmic soulmate. And this is what they did. It's like they, they allowed someone to persuade them to go backwards while they've watched you move forward. Yeah, this is someone who definitely needs to focus on loving their self more, taking back control of their life. So they could finally be happy. You have self-love. This could be what you chose to focus on. Take back control of your life. Especially if there was some type of pattern that you were in with another person. You are not going to continue to allow that to consume you. Or have you stuck. Or make you settle. So you chose you. Yeah, we have thinking of you, missing you. This person is definitely constantly being reminded of you. They've cried about this connection. Um, yeah, they've cried. Some Somebody cries their self to sleep. Yeah, they're constantly thinking about the past and how they treated you. You have toxic people and guidance. This person was being guided by toxic people, the wrong crowd. Getting bad advice from the wrong, I mean, getting bad advice from toxic people. And they thought that the advice they got from these people or this certain person taking where it resonates, there would be a positive outcome. They ended up fighting back and forth with whoever the person is that they went back towards. They don't trust this person. It's a reason why they've been in some type of pattern with that person. They're learning a lesson. And they realize they have to detach. Only one person want a positive outcome. Whoever the other person is, they just don't. This could be someone that is um, just there to distract that person. And, I, and as I say, they have to see that these are distractions from them being able to take that leap of faith and move forward with their life and move on from some type of cycle in order for it to end. Yeah, it's like somebody went back to try to work out something with an ex and um, nothing changed. Things got worse. And they could have made this person feel like, hey... We can work this out. There's going to be a positive outcome. Um, we need to compromise. And it ended in a lot of fighting to the point where they had to detach from that person. They realized they were tricked. This person did not want the same thing that they wanted. Please forgive me. I know I messed up. 
So this is someone who knows that they messed up and they are disappointed in their self. But they're kind of, this is someone who is kind of questioning um, their self as well. They're wondering, do you still feel the same way? If this was a potential partnership relationship, they feel like you don't feel the same way that you felt in the past. Now they're like more disencouraged. This is someone who feels like you don't love them or um, you don't want a connection with them or something like that. You wouldn't want to be in a connection with them. This is someone who is also afraid of rejection. They feel like you treated them better than um, they've ever treated you. Why would you want to um, compromise with them or get us get this situation balanced out with them? It's like somebody is completely like beating their self up. And these are things that they're keeping to their self. They feel like they can't go outside of their self now because... Um, They've given this family member what they wanted. They've given these third parties what they wanted. So they can't go back to those people for advice. They probably don't even want these people to know they're feeling this way about you and this connection. So it's like they're, this person is spending a lot of time um, thinking about the past, thinking about the decisions that they made. I love you so much no matter what. I never expected to fall in love so quickly. The thought of you drive me crazy crazy so this person when they think of you they get overwhelmed they get nervous um the feelings are very intense i hope the future will bring us together And then this card on the bottom of the deck, it says, no one makes me feel the way that you do. You are the best I've ever had. So they feel like nobody compares to you. Um, whatever time you have spun around this person, um, the things that you've done with this person, they feel like you're the best. They've never, no one has ever made them feel the way that you make them feel. This could be someone that was immature and they just went to the wrong people for advice. They didn't feel like they could make a um, proper decision on their own. And they ran into a karmic lesson that they needed to learn. If this is someone who is working on their self and they're learning to self-love, um, they're hoping that the future will bring you and them back together. It's like they're trying to work on their self so they could manifest this connection again. Cutting ties. Somebody is definitely standing up for their self. This is someone who is aware. Self-awareness is here. Um, freedom. They're freeing their self. This is someone who is cutting ties with people that they need to cut ties with. And this could definitely be this family member, whoever this other karmic partner is as well. Because it's like when you continue to give someone what they want and you continue to repeat a pattern with someone, it's like you're giving that person the opportunity to deceive you again. You've given that person the chance to hurt you again. There's a reason why you needed to separate and distance yourself. And not loving yourself, not having the confidence or the courage to walk away is what keeps you stuck. Being afraid of being alone, 
is what keeps you stuck in disappointment and heartbreak. Now, if these people that they have been around are people that are discouraging, they haven't encouraged that person to do anything positive or to change, whatever you have done, they've watched you and that have given that's given them the strength and the courage to cut ties, to free themselves, to distance themselves from things that no longer serve purpose in their life and release fear. Yeah, it's like you've helped this person change and you don't know. This person definitely wants to apologize. We have karmics. Yeah, somebody is distancing herself from third parties, karmic um energies. Yeah. Something could have happened. Something could have happened that they did not expect. This could have been while they were out. Like these people could go out a lot. This could be out to the club with nightlife being here. There's some type of chaos or drama that popped off. Yeah, and it could have been involving this family member or whoever this ex is. Somebody could get drunk and they like to fight argue um go back and forth with people or something like that something could have something happened and it was just too much somebody had to release cut ties it was just too much chaos somebody created a disaster to the point where this person did not want to go out with them anymore um celebrate with them anymore this could be drink with them anymore if the, these people got together and drunk a lot Yeah. And if they felt like giving this person bad advice to distance you and that person, um, somebody felt like they had this person stuck. Um, this could be this ex, the person that they were going back and forth with and they realized this is someone they shouldn't have went back towards. They shouldn't have took this family member's advice. When they realized that they had this person right where they wanted this person and that person came back to them, they laughed about the situation. This is someone that was happy. They were able to keep someone stuck. And they were, this was somebody that was glad that they had this family member to help them, convince them that they needed to stay attached to this karmic soulmate. This is someone who is very narcissistic and egotistic. It's like all of these people operate in the same energy. They feel like they can walk all over people and get what they want. They don't care if they have to deceive people. They don't care if they have to hurt people. As long as they get what they want, they're satisfied. Somebody has been suffering in silence. It's like whoever this, um, whoever the person is that ghosted you, they've been suffering in silence. Like nobody knows that this person is going through what they're going through. This is someone who has been hiding their real feelings for you. Um, they have not said what they wanted to say to you. This is someone who is, they've been like dreaming about getting the situation balanced out with you. Addictions could have also played a role to keep that person in the cycle. So if there was some type of heavy addictions, that could have kept that person repeating the cycle as well. If they shared these same addictions, toxic traits with these people, that's what kept them stagnant. That's what kept them stuck. And if they were hiding how they felt about you and them um, treating you the way they treated you, they overindulged more in bad decisions, addictions. 
Somebody could be dealing with a legal situation with court being here and legal. They could be getting a court situation balanced out. Whatever this nightlife and chaos, that could have resulted in a legal situation. If there was some type of fight or something like that, somebody could have went to jail. If a fight broke out like at a club or something like that. This could have been a gathering as well, take it where it resonates. And you have daydreaming. This is someone who daydreams about getting a situation, getting the this connection balanced out with you. Now, if somebody was wanting to keep this person stuck for money, um, this was total deception. It's like this person ended up losing a lot of money going back towards this ex because they didn't know the hidden motive. If they started going through a lot of legal issues where they had to pay out a lot of money, they weren't understanding why they couldn't keep anything. Why they were constantly having to pay to get out of this situation or if these were lawyer fees, attorney fees, because um, you have lawyers, paperwork, court. If these are things that they had to pay attention to, give their time, money and energy to, they could no longer give it to this person that was excited about keeping them stuck. Which eventually made them realize they have to walk away from whoever that person is. Because they definitely realized that was a bad investment. Whatever they were given to that person is um, the reason why that person wanted to reconcile with them. Stay in a pattern with them. Yeah, it's like they had to leave that person out in the cold in order to start over. In order to be presented a new opportunity. And it's not only this person they had to leave out. It's a certain mindset that they were in, a certain lifestyle they had. And um, whoever else these bad, these people, whoever else these toxic people are that gave them the bad advice. Or they could have often got negative advice from that kept them in a cycle. Where they didn't see any changes. We have the two of cups. And then you have the queen of wands. This person wants to partner up with you. They feel like you're someone that's very motivating, um, very passionate, and you're also a manifester. It's like you're able to manifest whatever it is that you want out of life. And this is with your true potential, with the energy that you're in. If you're someone that's a very positive person, You've helped this person to think more positive. You have the star. Yeah, this is someone who have definitely been praying for this connection. Um, they're, they've been praying for a second chance with you if this is like a spiritual connection and you're finding out or they're finding out about this soul connection that you and them share it has them in deep regret because this is someone who has found out you're their divine counterpart
Yeah, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. Five of Cups. I'm also getting whoever um, this family member is. This person could be in regret as well. If they're finding out that you and this person um, are divine counterparts, they're in regret. Yeah, they could be in regret because they didn't know um, this energy that they were working with, hidden motive. Yeah, to keep them stuck. And they was like helping this karmic soulmate. It's like somebody has sat back. Multiple people have sat back and watched you invest a lot of time in yourself and they see your growth. It's like they're reminiscing or reflecting on the past. This could be whoever you were attached to in the past, what you were going through in the past, in some type of cycle, and where you are now. And they're in regret. They feel like you have the true potential to build the Ten of Pentacles or you already are in this energy with the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you have the Two of Wands and the Will of Fortune. Now, somebody could have thought if they could keep that person held up, they would be able to inherit someone else's fortune, um, their destiny or something like that. This could be that karmic soulmate or this family member. Take it where it resonates. It's like somebody was blinded from the truth about this will of fortune, someone's destiny, their purpose, two people having a soul connection and coming together. This could be two people knowing about this connection and trying their best to keep um, this person held up. Or this could be two people were working together and one person was lied to and blinded uh, by another person to help them hold someone up. Because they felt like they were going to gain some type of inheritance or someone else's will of fortune. Their great fortune. Somebody seeing this as money, dollar signs. And now they're seeing they were blinded from the truth. Because whatever they were trying to hold this person down for, if this was money, they can't have it around this energy. This energy is someone that is in, is in the five of pentacles. If this is someone who does not want to work, they don't want to build their own stability. This is someone who have abandoned their journey and their path because they're so focused on other people path and um, keeping other people stuck and not wanting to change. This is why they're being left out. This is why they did not get whatever they thought they were going to gain when they celebrated and thought they had that person stuck that they know is your divine counterpart. And it's like, they've abandoned their path. They felt like if they stayed attached to your person, they would be able to share their path with them. But that person abandoned their path, holding on to this karmic soulmate without knowing. It's like when they left you out in the cold and ghosted you, they were abandoning their journey that they share with you to repeat a karmic cycle, a karmic lesson with a karmic soulmate and other karmic soulmates as well. And I'm getting there seeing all of this now, what they did not see in the past. It took for them to go through some type of awakening, um, get enlightened and also this betrayal. 
to see that they have to cut ties and move forward. from this deck and I'll close out the reading. We have forgive. I hope you will forgive me for all the things I have done and all the pain which I caused you. But believe me, that was not my intention. I know I have hurt you pretty badly with my words and actions, but I am truly sorry. So this is someone who honestly wants forgiveness. They've been reflecting on what they did to you. There's a lot of things that are unspoken, unsaid, and soon they're going to reveal those things to you. This card says, our reunion is imminent and I am doing what I can to be ready for you. I'm working hard on myself to be a better provider for you. I hear you call for me and I'm coming back to you. This is my promise to you that soon we will reunite again. You have regret. So this person have been in regret for a long time. This is why they have not communicated with you, reached out to you. It's like they're ashamed. Um, they were, or they were ashamed. This person was embarrassed. They just couldn't bear to look you in your eyes or um, face you. It's like they needed to gain the strength and the courage to confront you or confront the connection again. They have to release this regret. This is someone who does not want to see you hurting. They don't want to see you cry as well. This is someone who never meant to hurt you. Um, expectation. I want to be all that you want me to be. I don't want to disappoint you. I know you have a lot of expectations from me and I am trying to stand for that. But at times I feel so far away from that. And I am afraid to let you down or disappoint you. That's another reason why they have not contacted you or reached out to you. And I'm getting for a long time being around these people. They didn't want to face what they did to you. So they tried to avoid it for a long time. And when they got alone, this person would cry. They would be in regret. Nobody knew what they were going through. And this helped them see that they needed to separate from those people. These same people are people they've repeated cycles with in previous lifetimes. They feel bound to these people. There's a pattern. They feel like they can't move on from those people. These are like negative soul ties. People that are there to keep them stuck. People that have abandoned their own journey and they want that person to do the same. They want that person to stay far away from reality. They don't want that person to be able to make their own decisions. And it's because they feel like they can't make their own decisions. They can't move on with their life. They don't have the strength and the courage to get their life on track. So they don't want to see that person do that. So whoever this person is, this is someone who is definitely... Um, 
they've been hurt for a long time for hurting you. And they want forgiveness, but it's like, I'm getting whoever this person is, if they hurt you in the past, this is something that you're not holding on to. They have to forgive their self for what they did to you in order to confront you. Yeah. Yeah. And they felt like being away from you is what kept, what would keep you from hurting if they felt like they hurt you in the past. But I'm getting you were able to move past whatever they did. You've even, you could have tried to reach out to this person after they ghosted you. This could be someone that, um, yeah, they could have been in fear. When they heard from you and they didn't know how to confront you. So they just didn't respond. Um, it's because they just couldn't bear to, to, to look you in the face. This person was still hurting from what they did to you. 